Hey, the patience. It's not a hard drop. All right. Seven <laughs> minutes is perfect. Sorry, man, Jay. <laughs> First tequila. Now it's like stuff in your face. We'll ask you last. Oh, man. I, I, I love that kill you last <laughs> bit. It just always makes me think of <laughs> a particular Schwarzenegger movie. Hey, everybody. It's been a week. I'll lead off by saying the good news for me. Major League Baseball is Baseball. back. <laughs> Go ahead. I saw Baseball that news stuff. somewhere and I immediately thought of you. And then I saw you tweet about it. I'm like, yeah, Rich is on it. Very excited. <laughs> yeah, there, there was even a special episode of the uh, the Baseball Tonight podcast from ESPN where they talked through the deal. And it was a lot of ex- – I'm excited. I think it's a good deal. The pr- product of baseball will be more enjoyable by me. Uh, with some of the rules changes they're implementing, Universal DH. I won't say mu- any more than that, but you know, Universal DH. You either know what that means or you don't, and it's okay if you don't. I actually do know what that means. <laughs> also, is that Universal Digital Empire? Uh, no, <laughs> designating <EU>. hitter. So. <laughs> oh, uh, you yeah, know the umpire. silly rule of baseball. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Misha, what have you been up to in the last week? Uh, well, I finished my Victorian underwear. Hey. Congrats! Yeah, it's it's a pain. There's like <laughs> six layers there. Uh, I did check. I can use the bathroom while wearing the full thing, so that's important. That's important. That, that is important. <laughs> you have to check. I mean, when you're wearing like better than a lot of surf. superheroes or sci-fi folks who are wearing costumes, <laughs> they can't use the bathroom in. So have to put in a catheter. <clears throat> Uh, and I started on a the mock up, well, a practice run for a quilt I'm doing for my parents' 50th anniversary, which is I got two years, but I figured I needed to know how hard it is now, so I know how much time I need to devote to it later. So that that's uh, it's a pain. <laughs> I may have bitten off more than I can chew. We will see. <laughs> you got two years. Huh? Yeah, I might need them. <laughs> <laughs> wow that is wild jeremiah what about you what you been up to for the last week uh i've been playing a lot of spider-man miles morales nice so, repping my spider-man shirt so what i got i don't have a miles one but uh, that's that's cool. been a lot of my free time <laughs> that was a christmas present for my son and he said he nice. really enjoyed it he didn't oh, invite so me to good. watch him while he played it, but that's yeah, it's so good. It's both of the both of the kind of current gen Spider Man games are just fantastic. Nice. What about you, Matt Jay? What you know to in the last week? I was trying to buy you buy you time there. Oh no, it's it's good. I'm good. I'm good now. <clears throat> yes. Ooh, I'm not hangry yeah. anymore. Took that edge off. Um I've been dying a lot in Elden Ring. Elden dying Ring. <laughs> all the time. Dying. Uh I, and I'm I'm cool with the deaths and the dying. It's uh, I want to yeah. It's the the creatures that keep you. So you die, you can go back and get your stuff, right? So usually it's a win for me when I die and I go back to my corpse and I loot my corpse and get my stuff back. And then we're cool, right? I'll leave you alone. I won't come back over here and I'll go find something else to do because it's a big world and I go find other stuff. Mm-hmm. It's when you know, some of those bastards won't let me get back to my stuff so I can get my stuff back, uh-huh. right? And and then I die again, right? Oh, so no. then I got, yeah. And so I do a lot of dying. I've been dying a lot. So I got, I, I, I got to ask you this. I have not played one moment of Elden Ring. I have watched a goodly bit of it because my son, and he told me about a particular <laughs> plot line. I'm only going to ask this question. Have you met the blind girl who asks you to gather grapes for her? No. So there's a girl who's got maybe a sewed up eye or an eye scar. So, she, but she's got one eye that's good, right? But she's okay. so I don't think I don't, she counts. No, as blind. I don't think that's it. Yeah, there's a girl who's okay. who's blind <clears throat> who uh, asks you to gather ga- grapes for her mm-hmm. because when she eats those grapes, she can s- see a little bit. Huh, no, I'm not mad. My, my son told me about grapes. that that quest line, as he calls uh-huh. it, and it was interesting. <laughs> I will I will say I'm not a Souls 
fan. I'm not anti souls. Um, that mechanic, the the fighting and the dying, uh, I could get used to whatever, right? I'm not one way or the other about it. What I do enjoy is exploring the world. So mm -hmm. even though there are creatures that are uh, uh, taking my lunch money, uh, mm -hmm. I can go do something else. I don't have to fight that dude right there, right? So I like that. Uh, you get rewarded for exploring, right? So uh, I'm mad because I got stomped and I left that fight. And I'm just wandering around and I get stomped over here, right? And then, like, I'm like, if I get stomped one more time, I'm deleting this game off my Xbox. Right? <laughs> and then you got stomped one more time. Right. No, well, I ran into a knight in the forest, the same guy who kind of yeah, I meet trying to get out of a cave, and I kill that guy, right? It was uh -huh. it was a little touch and go, but I kill that dude. And then I see his buddy, right, with his back to me at a campfire, and I smoke that guy, right? It's I mean, talking about it is horrible, but uh, but then I'm on a roll. I kill two more, and then three come at me, and then I run. <laughs> uh, but I run into a cave, right, mm -hmm. that I didn't know was there before, right? Uh, so I find this cave, and there's stuff in there. And I got questions, and I get some cool stuff, right, when mm -hmm. I haven't fight anything. And um, I haven't looked at anything online. I don't want to spoil anything, but I feel like uh, they want you to get out into the world and explore, look around, check out some things, and you don't have to, you can walk away from fights. You don't have to uh, keep fighting the thing that's taking your lunch money. Um, it's a little OSR in that. Like, it's yeah, not all yes, the, like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I dig that. Uh, in fact, there's a golden knight on a horse real close to where you first come out into the world. And mm -hmm. he will take your lunch money all day long. Well, it, actually, it's it's horse, right? His horse kicks my ass. I think the knight is just along for the ride. <laughs> I think that's what's happening, right? And I'm like, you know, screw that guy, right? And I left, right? And he's still out there. He's just walking up and down. Whenever I'm ready, right, he's there. I'm not ready yet, right? I can't, you know, I can't even take his horse. So, so I'm enjoying it so far. I think there will become a day where some of these are gatekeepers and I can't beat them. And then I'll move on to some other game. All right. Uh, if if you've ever seen Zero Punctuation from The Escapist, they did a recent review on Elden Ring that made me laugh. Okay. And I showed it to my son, and uh -huh. he laughed a lot. I have a to lot. check that out. Yeah, well, there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. He's still doing stuff. Zero yeah, I see his videos pop up on, on YouTube occasionally, but... I just don't bother anymore. What's funny is my son revealed to me when I mentioned it that I I said, Hey, did you know that Yahtzee Croshaw has a new a new thing on zero punctuation? He said, Wait, the guy who wrote the book Mogworld does zero punctuation? That's the same person? Because he'd read the book Mogworld uh -huh. and had no idea that that was the zero punctuation guy. I said, Yeah, he said, Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, Bounty of the Week. Yeah. Let's let's jump back. <laughs> let's jump back into that. Of course, we have to cut away from Raksu and, yep, that's the, fine. and my and my hard move reveal <laughs> there. Uh, as Quartz, Yoon, and Azure, you guys are you're drinking fizzy drinks and having a good time, right? Yeah, yeah. Like you so, do. Yeah, or yeah, goes dying. And and once Azure kind of skirted around, don't want to go home. Quartz isn't going to push on that. Why would he? Path of least resistance. He is <laughs> He is drinking. He says, hey, Azure, we should, we should dance. I am like three drinks not drunk enough for dancing. No, it's a contest. You get out and you move. It's fun. Come on. He stands up, offers you a hand. I'd ask you to dance, but I know him. He's got no rhythm. Are you sure about that? He's real stiff. <sighs> he said stiff. <laughs> he did. He did say stiff. I, I, I did. I got to it. Come on. Sure. Why not? And she like Deal. chugs the rest of her drink. Nice. That makes it easier to dance. Uh, I find, but... yes. 
casino spins just a little bit, but you're able to find your balance. He's not some kind of ace dancer. He definitely doesn't have moves like Janal. Uh, or mm. He's not that kind of dancer. <laughs> oh, oh, he is not that kind of dancer. He's just he's just happy to dance with you. He doesn't even try to make it like an in-close thing. Yeah, he just he moves to the music. He's making some eye contact. He seems to be having a pretty good time. Yeah. So, Yoon, you're all by yourself oh, there oh, at the oh. casino. When is it that you notice that somebody's watching you? I'm not actually alone. I mean, they're right there. They're just yeah. dancing. Yeah, there you and, go. And Gorgo's got my back. He's not going <sighs> to let anything happen to me in, in his club. Right? Exactly. Uh, I think I've been aware for a little bit. It's the stormtrooper in me, right? Yeah. Um, and so I think I even uh, get up from the table and then maybe move over to the where the bartender is, uh, just to uh, maybe throw off whoever's watching or tailing me. A it's a Rodian. Bit. A Rodian's been eyeing you for a bit. Oh, yeah. actually. Uh, I'll walk over to the Rodian, uh, staggering a little bit like I've been drinking a little too much, and I'll say, hey, you want to dance? He says, you're the stormtrooper. I'm a it's dancer heavy. tonight. You dance before you die. Oh, now I got to put my hands on him. Do you? Yes. You going to take him down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, your, that's your plan? You going to try to take him down? Yes, that's my play. All right. Let's 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 see how that goes. So take them down. When you get into a fight and need to take them down, roll plus tough. Nice. Let me bring up my roll with me. What is my tougher? I'm already plus two. It's plus two. You haven't been hurt yet, so it should okay. be better. We're gonna get there. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Presumably, he's not imperial. So yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Yes, it is good. Now I'm trying to imagine a Rodian stormtrooper helmet. <laughs> <laughs> It does not fit. <laughs> Give me a better helmet. Or just I will poke not. a couple holes in the top. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. That appears to be an eight. So yes. on a seven plus you and whatever you're fighting inflict harm on each other. Yes. The harm is based on the established, so I think you're 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 doing punching harm, right? Yep, punching harm, <clears throat> headbutt, and catching his elbow. And he's not a bad fighter. Like you, you clock him in the side of the face. You that eye starts to swell up. You know, you've seen here. I've got a I've got a pick of our friend. Let me share that with you, just so you got something to keep in mind. You bop him in the elbow. What are these little big multifaceted eyes? Yeah. Target and yank yeah. one of his stocky things. Yep. You yank a stocky <laughs> thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you maybe you, you bop one of his antennae. He does not like that oh. at all. He takes this little like sticky because the fingers for the Rodians they're kind of they have suckers at the end, right? And he does the thing where he like grabs the side of your face and, and like suckers in and suctions. It's like a weird kind of fight hickey thing going on the side of your face. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get uh, that hickey, Yoon? From, from a fight. Yeah, you're gonna have like five like five little mouths. Yep. Uh, and that is one harm that comes to you. And real quick. You see those Gamorians are hustling their way over to a no fight, no fight, take outside. And 
And that Rodian smiles like, yeah, let's take it outside. Take it outside. Like, he's not scared of you, and he thinks that he's got all he wants mm-hmm. when you go outside. Mm-hmm. What do you do? But these Gamorians, they came mm-hmm. and got us before, right? They know they know me. They know right? who you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, I'm not going outside. We're going to finish this right here. Ooh. So you see, we're going to finish this right here. And Gamorians, <laughs> they look at each other. And you can tell they really want Creek Macaw to tell them what to do right about now. Right, we right. cut to Quartz in Azure. <laughs> you guys are dancing, having a good time. And Can I see Gamorians running. Yeah, you, you, you see a Gamorian jog running his way over to something, and you see Yoon up in a fisticuffs with a Rodian. Get up, Yoon! <laughs> Quartz is, oh man, he's jealous of us dancing. <laughs> Start, start a fight. Make a scene. Make a scene. <laughs> she looks at him. What? <laughs> you don't know you like I know you. And he always he takes everything to the this big extreme. As you were. Let's go back and make sure he's all right. So. What? <laughs> Dope. Galen like, Quartz oh, is going to make his way back towards <laughs> you. And the Gamorreans, one of them says, not on floor. You you go back room and fight. And then the other no. warrior, uh-huh. other warrior leans in and says, "You want me hack up Rodian?" <laughs> yes, please. All right, and the warriors are going to try to grab onto this Rodian and haul him away. Nice, nice. Azure. You and Quartz come up to see as Yoon if Daily pulled some kind of favor or something, and they are starting to those Gamorians are hauling away the Rodian who laid hands on Yoon. Nice. So Raxu. Yeah. Once you got that bit of information, what was your next move? I imagine I probably stare at him for a while to try to decide how trustworthy I think that is. Because I know that I wasn't present for the conversation about, you know, he's got some force user healing him or whatever. So I have no idea what this, what is going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and presumably he doesn't, I, you know, I don't know how he reacts, but I, I probably just kind of lock eyes with him for a little bit. He's pretty unwavering. Like yeah. he'll head back, sit down in the little bench in his cell. Yeah. In that case, I'll I just take a big deep breath and make my way back to the casino and go find Azure. Cool. You find Azure, Yoon, and Quartz <clears throat> after, like, you pass by. There are a couple of Gamorreans, and there's a Rodeo saying, No, he punched me. He laid hands on me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. Don't come back. <laughs> don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Rexy, you can make your way up to Azure yeah, yeah. and Quartz. Sure, sure. Uh, you got a second, Azure? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly kind of looking at at Galen as if I probably don't want him to be a party of this conversation. Sh- sure. For now. I'll get another round of drinks. I'll wait for you all at the table. You and you okay? You need you need some TLC, buddy? You okay? You got some weird things on your face there. You look weird. No, I'm fine. Whatever. Uh, but you could buy me a drink. <laughs> All right. Well, you better put out. And, and you you could get out. some of what that Rodian's getting. <laughs> nah. Well, That's how I roll. The VIPs tonight. Quartz is out. <laughs> <I'm> out. <laughs> Quartz is out. <laughs> and I'm done. I'm going to sleep it off. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I kind of, you know, sit down beside them. However, they lay down sure. Yeah, you guys grab a, a an empty sure. booth and yeah, yeah. So there's a guy in the uh, in a guild holding cell. 
asked for you by name, your given name. Goes by Sorn. Ah, fart. Okay. I uh, went to run a little interception. I assumed you would prefer not to have to deal with him. So that um, he's not here? So technically I haven't found him yet? Luckily for the time being, he's he's up on running out on some deaths or something. So with any luck, that'll take a while to, to wash out. But he asked me to relay a message. I don't know how true it is, but he said your father is being poisoned. Did he say by who? That's all he said. He seemed pretty done with the conversation at that point. <laughs> okay, somebody tells you somebody's being poisoned. You don't ask any more questions. You shut down. I failed my role. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't. I don't think. Uh, you know, what's his name? What's the gal? Dal. Dal Bays wasn't going to let me go in there and rough the guy up, so I, I got what I could before he just clammed up. I think. And I think once it was gone. clear. I think once it was clear that we weren't going to let him find his way to you, that he was no longer interested in talking. And he's already gone. Well, I mean, he's still in the holding cell. I tried to make it clear his best course of action would be to get on the ship and leave. We'll see if he actually takes that under advice. Fine, I'll talk to him. <laughs> All right. Do you need backup? Need? Probably not. Want? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'll I'll go. It seemed Yoon was excited. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do we cut to uh, Azure? With Raksu and Yoon arriving at the holding holding cell. Yeah, that sounds about right. That works. Well, seems alright. Cool. cool. I might. Uh, I was gonna say like whatever. I don't know if like if if Dal Bays is like on the clock or or just some yeah, like sure. killed He's functionary. There. I'll just try to keep him distracted because I don't know how this conversation is gonna go. I don't okay. know what kind of. You haven't they're... found Dal to be a super like nosy. He lets, he respects you guys. He lets you do your business. So okay, if fair enough. Gave him the the inclination. Hey man, it's a private conversation. He fuck off. Yeah, more more from the point of view of you know, if if we're gonna rough up a guy in custody, it might be better if no one sees it. Oh yeah, you you you, you may have to. <laughs> he's not. He's he. If that gets Azure recorded, he'd get in trouble. Up kind that's, of person, yeah, that's what so. I figured. So that, that's but, more what I am. I, I am. That's why I brought help. you. Yeah, I, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I figure, yeah, you're the guy to do that. And I figure I can try to do what I can to keep doll base occupied. As soon as you step in the hallway, Azure, he looks up, stands up. Rexy. Thorn. I, would have, I had heard you were on the rock. I came now here for you. Now you want to find me? Yes, I do. We should go home. Now you want to go home? Yes. Not like, you know, a year ago when we were supposed to be getting married, you dumbass. It's an arranged marriage. So what changed your mind? I ran out of money. How much? All of it? No, how much will it take? For you to keep running. I could 
book passage and find a place to be for ten creds. You want me to pay you <laughs> ten creds? It's so my opening offer for me to stay. How your about life. I give you two creds, and I don't have him kick your ass? At that point, I light up my lightsaber while I'm looking him up and down, checking him out. Really? Yeah, for effect. So, so we hear a little bit of a. Yeah. A little bit of hum in the background. Right. His eyes, his red chis eyes widen. I think, Azure, you should probably roll to manipulate. <laughs> and Hume is definitely looking like he's he's going to help you. That's right. I'm doing that Darth Maul pace. <laughs> nice. Uh, One of my favorite movies in the prequels, or f favorite moments in the prequels, was that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good team. Well, and, and Duel of the Fates is just oh, a badass song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cheap trick that they played that in the Obi Wan tra trailer. I was like, no, please stop. Must oh god, music make happy. That's a seven. Uh, All right, on uh, seven, uh, you can call for aid, or um, the manipulate seven to nine is they'll do it, but only if you do something from the right now and show you mean it. I will tell you, he will ask for more money. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I can manipulate with tough if I'm helping, which is good. You can. Do you this want to call true. for aid? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Because if he fails, then your move fails. Yeah, yeah. That's why that's, not. But hey, he get XP. You can't lose. Oh, by the way, you could also down. dark side it if you wanted to. Well. I did consider that. I really did. You're tempted, aren't you? Are you a little tempted? <laughs> yeah, just a little. <laughs> More tempted. All right. I want to see it. Right? You got to wail your lightsaber around. Oh. A, little, a little bit of... Uh, all that craziness behind you. Uh, yeah. So go ahead and roll your help with tough. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a dead. Oh. I'm a this fan of your characters. <laughs> that. that is all you need to push that to a full success, he says. Two cred, get me out of here. I'll be gone for at least another year. Who's poisoning my father? She's like pulling out her uh, wallet, I guess, for lack of Oh, life. well, this appears to be a different negotiation, Rexy. I step that. in. Two I steps. look at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I step in closer. He says, "There's a there's a force shield. I don't think that could go, that will stick." That's right. I'm up, I'm up on. You're the in our shield. house now. Wow. <laughs> I mean, there's probably a control like right there. Yeah, I, I'm not going to make you go to another role. It's a, it's a thing where he's going to try to push it. You you threaten a little bit more. Maybe you kind of tap the light. Say, like, what? let's just lean right into it, right? You do the little thing where you tap and it causes it to warble a little bit and change colors. Yeah. Uh, and that's enough to... Uh, your brother, okay? Your brother. Ooh. I believe it. <laughs> How did you find this out? All of these money-making opportunities are slipping through my fingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Lexi, I'm, I have no leverage if I tell you that. No, but you still have your life. The person he's paying off happens to be a close friend of mine. 
you wouldn't happen to be a guy claiming to be a force using medical person, would it? No. Okay. No, it's your family doctor. <laughs> How else do you think that being poisoned would pass through? There are a lot of people watch your father dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, 60 odd years of being a bastard. It's not surprising. Well, Rexy, I know you could be a business bastard too. If I really wanted to, but I don't. We could Which have been is why quite I'm letting bear. you go. Well, if you know, I we could have ran off together. You, you realize that, Rexy. You could have mentioned you were going to run off before you ran off. Yeah, but that was a year ago. Let's let bygones be bygones. So are you no. getting out of here? I'll run off with you. You're a psychopath. Uh-huh. You make that sound like a bad thing. Please get me out of here so that I can continue to run away from you. She, like, pushes the button. <laughs> so we cut to Raksu. <laughs> gets a little notification. Hey, they just opened the door. Hey, so... Uh... <laughs> this is so not in Raksu's wheelhouse. but <laughs> yeah. Dal stands up. He says, a conversation is fine, but what are they doing? He, like, flicks a, a toggle button to, like, turn on the cams. He sees... The quarry, Soren, started to walk out of his cell. Uh, 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 um, She's taken, taken so a drop. Johnny's already been paid. If, if if the. Oh. I got. I got he goes. You can tell. Dell is not a bounty hunter. He is an administrator. Uh-huh. He goes to get his. His. Blaster rifle, which he can yeah. set to stun. He chow oh, checks no. to make sure it's I, on stun. I reach out to like put my hand on his. It's. It's going to be okay, man. It's not going to be okay. Trust trust How long have we known each other? Not long enough for me to lose my job over this? Nobody's... Who's going to know? I follow protocol and contacted the employer. They're on their way to retrieve him. They've already paid the bounty. And they they absolutely want him in their custody? Yes. How soon are they going to be here? They said they would be here within 48 hours. How long did you send the message? Three hours ago. Oh, that's way too long. Uh, Oh, man, I'm torn on the one hand. I guess I don't really care about this guy that much. But I also don't want to, like... Man, that's gonna be that's gonna be a bad look for a bounty hunter if you just start like attacking the guild. Hmm. What am I? What am I please here? I don't have. We- well, you can consider it, and I'm trying to give you the player a moment, but yeah. Dal is gonna be walking to because he's not that far away, right? I imagine <laughs> right, like right, right, right. A different room in the same complex. He's gonna walk around. His intent is yeah. to walk around. Stun this guy uh, and stick him back in his cell. Oh, okay. Uh, man, it sucks because I'm, I'm not privy to what's going on in there, but I feel I like I need to back my. I, my and here's the thing: but we could totally have you. you yeah. You're a spy, right? You could yeah. have like stuck some yeah. kind of thing in your listening ear. I'm yeah. totally cool if you want that information. Sure. Now, I, I like the idea of just backing their play, whatever it is. So uh, I'm gonna whip my blaster out close range on stun. Just so you know, she's totally okay with him getting stunned and recaptured. I mean, that's my thought, too. We just, I guess we haven't had a chance to communicate that. Oh, do we I have guess. a code for that? There's a question. <laughs> like, yeah, you're just uh, you're just playing him. Yeah, look, I, I like I like that idea that 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 maybe as you're approaching the the lobby of the guild offices, you know, whatever, whatever that code is. I'm like, oh, this is just a 
This is just a dummy plague. In which case... I you know, would... I could really use a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a bantha sandwich? <laughs> yeah, I think I think in that case, then I would probably help Dal, Dal take the, knock the guy out. Okay, then Dal Bays walks around the corner. He sees Azure and Yoon. He brings up the blaster rifle to aim it at the chist behind you. Do either of you stop him, Yoon nope. or Azure? <laughs> I asked up to the. <laughs> so no, no loyalty to this guy. And and Soren says, "Wait, wait!" <laughs> he gets shot with a stun <laughs> bolt, <laughs> drops to the ground, and Dal walks over, reaches down, and drags him back into the cell. Thank you, Dal. Was this some kind of tease? Is this a chiss game? <laughs> no, eh, kind of. <laughs> I mean, never to date a chiss. Well, no, it's not a matter of dating a chiss. It's a matter of, you know, ditching a chiss. You know, the whole woman scorned thing. Just bad, bad juju. Uh, he presses the button, the force shield comes back on. You should likely say your goodbyes. <laughs> she leaves. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys leave Dal behind. No. He is not going to chase you him, down. I gave him the two creds. That's. <laughs> I kept my end of the bargain. Nice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm imagining him like unconscious on the floor with just two cred sticks like tossed <laughs> under his body. <laughs> Pretty much. He wakes up like what? All right. Uh, so I'm looking at time. There's no way that you're going to do a hunt this session, which is a okay with me. This has been very fun. Yeah. We have some time. Are there any scenes or things that folks would like to do? I have three credits. I was going to spend it on training. Oh, there it is. Okay. I couldn't, I, I didn't go far enough. I couldn't figure out what I could buy if I leveled up, but I see it now. Okay, good. <clears throat> um, is there a move in another playbook that helps me with my lightsaber? Do you hmm. know off the top of your head? I haven't gone through them all. I mean, like, helps you with some kind of melee combat? Yes. Gives you a bonus of some kind? Yes. They're already a mega I tank. Am. I know I am. There might be, I feel like there's something about there might be, I'd have getting to a bonus with your signature weapon or something, but I don't, I'm not sure. So maybe. Uh, let's see. I think there was one actually on. So here's, here's what I, well, so here's what I'll do. I'll spend the credits. I just don't know what the advance is yet. I won't know. I'll know before okay. next year, yeah, but yeah, I won't. That, that's totally cool. All right, cool. cool Thank cool, you for cool, cool, that cool. time saver that I should have suggested to you before. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, because I'm not committed to bumping up. I feel like I like where his combat mods are. It's not 100%, uh, but it's pretty good, right? And mm -hmm. I like that. I don't want to push it any further. Um, but I want to spend these credits. Thank you. I, I knew there was a wrong move, and I was like trying to find it. Yeah, yep. it's the, it the bottom one. Tools matter. When you have a signature weapon, uh, you get a plus one to take them down. So you could totally oh, take that. Oh, look one. at that! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you pick the lightsaber as your signature weapon. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a beast I with it. Do that. Yes, yeah. So I think if I do that, then we've got like uh, uh, scenes, montage scenes of uh, Yoon practicing uh, Ooh, with, with the lightsaber. Nice. Right? <laughs> uh, maybe watch some hollow vids. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's gonna. 
I'm always, so good. I've always been on the fence of how I feel about like non force sensitive people being able to be skilled with lightsabers. Like in my head, it just feels wrong. Right, but right. It's also I hear you. Me, so like, eh, you know, I, don't... I love it for this story. And I also have the same feels chair by it. But also I realized that <laughs> the whole concept of force sensitive is something that comes from the RPGs, not from the media. Sure. But the two kind of intermingle in my brain. So right. I hear you. Yeah. No, I'm with you until I saw Finn pick it up. And, yeah. mm -hmm. right and then i was like you could do that right that's that's the thing and then i was in all right thank you very much Matt J. I like yoon's training sequence quite a lot nice. what about raksu got anything more you'd like to do uh, i don't think so i mean I'm, I'm happy sort of with us choosing what bounty we want to do and sort of like doing some of the initial stuff around that but i don't i don't have anything until that point okay uh and then misha for azure otherwise we'll move to the bounty board you've got a couple of bounties out there i actually uh, think i want to try to convince these two that they want to come and help me kill a, a doctor oh a side mission Instead nice of yes i'm looking at the bounty board now and there's there's you know a fair amount of money available well let's just so, maybe you're you come up with this pitch while they're looking lower. at the bounty board well i mean we're still in the in the guild hall or... yeah we'll say you guys are still in the guild hall okay uh so you've got two bounties that are out and active uh there's one in uh on tatooine, tatooine. for lablo reen jacks it's three alive and a times three bonus for recovery of stolen goods. Ooh, I mean, and then, sure enough, on the planet of Sicilla, uh oh, oh, last seen on the planet of Sicilla is this Zuba Chondris. Interesting, one for fraud, identity theft, embezzlement, and slicing, running a grift, training young ones in the ways of the force. So, the, this might be a two birds, one stone situation. This is totally yes. a two birds, one stone situation. Yeah, like I guess the convincing because my thought is like we can definitely recover some stolen goods, so that's nine creds. Why are we going to take this six cred job? Is that we can kill a doctor? Ah, uh, I mean, you are he might be poisoning my dad. We we do have each other's backs, I guess. What do you say, Union? Of course. How generous is your dad? I mean, <sighs> with you, pretty generous, probably. Perfect. Perfect. I've always wanted to see Scylla. Actually, wait, no, I haven't. Isn't that like a like it's a really cold planet? It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wear your freaking like long underwear. And the ice it gets stuff. everywhere. Uh, why do you think we're blue? <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Quartz? You coming? Well, I'm not a bounty hunter, which means I can't collect on any of it. But if you guys are willing to let me continue to stay on the ship. And maybe you kick me just a little bit besides room and board. I got your backs. It doesn't hurt to have an extra hand on the ship sometimes. You know me, and I'm a cheap date. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> uh, all this tension between us. It's like it makes me want to put little tiny hickeys on the side of your face. <laughs> White hickeys. <laughs> little roadie and I actually have a, a, a solution for that. You need a whisk. You need to share that solution with me. That sounds fun. <laughs> you have hickeys to get rid of? Oh, I thought that was something to mock or beat Yoon with. Or I... No, you can get rid of hickeys. You you rub the whisk over them and it, it squishes the blood back into the blood vessels properly and, and dissipates the hickeys faster. Huh. Learned that when I was like 15? <laughs> uh-huh. 
Huh. Pra- practical experience? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Can't say I've ever had a hickey, but thank you for the information. That is good to know. <laughs> cool. Is there anything more you guys want to do? Otherwise, we'll bring this to a close with a plan of you heading to Scylla. We'll, we'll open the session with you guys arriving at the frigid planet. Nice. That sounds good. All right. Well, wrap things up a little bit early. Uh, let's go around the horn, reminding everybody if they want to follow you so on social media, that kind of stuff, where they could find you. I think last week it was all Twitter all the time. So we'll see. <laughs> that's, that's I think Madge should ta- tell us about his Patreon. Madge, tell us. You, you've got a Patreon. Tell us a little bit about it. I do. It's uh, my... Uh... My dream hustle. So it's uh, Patreon slash Mad Zero, all letters. Um, the that the Diceology podcast is sponsored by that Patreon. So all the podcast that comes out of there, uh, I launched it about the same time. Um, Play Fearless on Substack again is sponsored by that Patreon. So all my game writing happens out of there. Um, as I hack on different games like Cortex, BX, um, things like that, that all, I just push it out there. And uh, my sponsors on the Patreon, um, they usually get access to extended uh, podcasts. So sometimes I'm doing an interview and it may go an hour and I'll push out the first half hour, 45 minutes or so um, to everyone. But the stuff that's longer goes behind the, the paywall. Uh, so stuff like that. Uh, there's a Discord. We'll do pick up games from time to time. I'm behind, but I think I'm going to try to run some Blades in the Dark because um, I've got a hanker in. So, yeah. You so, tried yeah, to work in a resistance for... role in last week's game. You obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I have a. Yeah, I have a. Uh, I have a, a, a hankering. I got distracted because. Somebody just subscribe to my Patreon. <laughs> nice. Just right now. <laughs> hey, nice. Good job. So thank you. The message went by fast. I can't I didn't I didn't see who it was, but thank you. So yeah. Cool. Jeremiah, if people want to follow you. Uh yeah, Twitter's the easiest thing. I'm at pseudo idiot. You can pull that from the chat because I don't want to spell it. <laughs> 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 hey, it was Misha. Another yes. Misha. A Misha yes. with an F C. Ah, I know Misha. Yeah, Misha's yeah. from New Orleans and, and uh, has right. a uh every uh pre lint he does a, a tour of uh king cakes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Which, nice. Uh, right? Yeah. That sounds like a tough gig. Yeah, yes. I know, right? <laughs> New Orleans is my favorite team. city. Yes. Uh, Misha B, people want to find you online. Where should they look? Uh, so okay, so Twitter is easy. Uh, BG Gameworks there. Uh, you can find me on my website, blackgirlgameworks.com. Uh, I have two Instagrams, uh, Black Girl Gameworks and Elf Girl Craftworks. Uh, one is more of my like quilting and crafting and stuff, and one is more my game stuff. Uh, and then if you want a Patreon, uh, there's the uh, Patreon uh, for More Seats at the Table. It's More Seats RPG uh, is the, the tag to look for there. That's where we fund our, our uh, I guess, currently it is tri-weekly newsletter because one of our, our uh, curators is out on maternity leave. So that'll be fun. Uh, and yeah. That's where you find me. All over the place. You got so much going on. I know. Yes, you're busy and you're baking dresses on the side and quilts on the other side. How many yeah. sides? <laughs> All sides. Uh, you can find me on Twitter if you want to be flooded with up to one post per week. Uh, <laughs> at O-R-K-L-O-R-D, which came from my original gamer tag from the first Xbox so, mm. so what I'm hearing is you're old. <laughs> I'm old. I think that's been a running theme for this entire session. My, my username uh, predates the Xbox. I've been, I've been using the same one since like '97. 
Nice. Yeah, oh. I think my 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 original handle nice. definitely predates the Xbox, but I don't use that as much outside of a few things anymore. Nice. I remember uh, someone trying to smack talk me, uh, and he called me Oak Lord on <laughs> Halo. That sounds what, cool. What are you doing, Oak Lord? I'm like, that actually doesn't sound that insulting. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. I'll take it. Oh, okay. I, you know, I maybe orc loaf if, if you're looking for an <laughs> insult. You know. Orc loaf, yeah. I, that that I could. Anyway, uh, and plus one forward podcast powercast podcast powered by the apocalypse, which has a brand new episode coming tomorrow for friendship effort victory, which nice. is a shonen anime styled RPG. So check it out. It's uh, it's free unless you want to be part of the gauntlet pat- patreon where you help to fund that thing but it's you know it's it's a podcast so your choice thanks everybody for playing this has been fun next session will be our last session of this season of bounty of the week and uh we'll, we'll head to Cecilia, but we'll see if maybe we have to bump to corellia for you to wrap up his thing we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see, we'll see. very excited <laughs> Uh, cool. So we've, with that, we will bring this recording to a close. Thanks, everybody, for watching.